what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? He would want the community to foster forgiveness for his death, like she believed he would. Those are the words uttered by the fiance of George Floyd, the man that was murdered in cold blood by Minneapolis police. Two pinned him down while one put a knee to his neck until the air left his body. So the media is already on it. She went to talking about God, he would want the people to know that he's a God-fearing man. You know, when he started talking about God, forgiveness. Let me tell you straight out the gate. I ain't forgiving shit. And I hope that George Floyd's parents and his siblings and his friends and family don't fall for the okie doke Don't fall for the hugging, the forget, man, get it. Man, if y'all don't get the hell up out of here. He would want the community to foster forgiveness for his death. These suckers got to pay. I ain't no, I don't know why, I don't know, I don't even know how people find it in their in they head to even just consider forgiving him. These are animals. These are not human beings, man. They are animals. There's some type of dark cloud, some type of nasty, stinking virus. You need a vaccine for their asses. They are not human beings. Ain't no forgiveness. Y'all talking about forgiveness. You talking about COVID-19. A vaccine for COVID-19. You need to get a vaccine for racism. That pandemic has been going on longer than anything in this country. That's what you do. Find me a vaccine for racism. I'll take it. Boy, I'll take it today, boy. I'll take it and... And I, man, I, boy, find me a vaccine for, for racism. That's what you need to do. Now, that's a pandemic that I can goddamn get behind and, and support. I'll ride with that pandemic. I make nobody go outside. Well, I bet you, you wouldn't have to, you wouldn't have to do too much to convince black people to not go outside then. Come up with a vaccine. Come up with a vaccine for racism. Boy, the media is something else, boy. They cold with it. She said he would want the community to forgive him. That's not what his right-hand man, Stephen Jackson, said. Steve said if George had seen all of those people riding for him, he would say, that's right, huh, man? We're not buying it, fiance. Put a sock in it. Go sit down somewhere in the corner. You're in time out. Now let's address this looting. Typically, I would totally be against the looting. But you know what? These corporations, they need to feel it. Target was one of the stores that got looted. If Target and these other corporations were to stand up and say, yeah, that guy need to be locked up. All of them need to be arrested. The arrest would come overnight. It would happen just like that. Money talks in America. Corporations run it. Businessmen run it. Businessmen and politicians run this country. Businessmen and politicians run the world. Don't ever forget that. The corporations got the money. 
These corporations employ thousands, tens of thousands of people in America. That's a lot of weight. They give millions of dollars to lobbyists, all these politicians. All of them get money from these corporations. Corporations could band together and say, you know what? We don't need these problems. Oh, that shit was stopped. The corporations. So maybe this is a good start. Maybe, you know, more of these corporations need to start getting it. Every time something go down, shake up business. Bring business to a screeching halt. Oh, it would change. That's why I say it's more than one way to protest. I'm cool. Now, I would, I would advise that the people that are out there doing it that way, watch your back. Be very, very careful because, you know, they'll put out a memorandum. Yo, you see him doing this here? Go in. Try to make you an example. So be very, very careful. But I ain't got no problem with target being targeted. Now they know how we feel. No more talk. What the talking about?